Hello and welcome to Mrs. Barkmeyer's Creative Space. Uh, as you can see, we are in a new space this week. This is our attic, and we will feature this on another episode. But uh, just to give you a quick look, um, this is the attic, our creative space, and it's coming along quite nicely. We've got a, a mess up here still, and some areas aren't done, but we just wanted to give you a quick look. Hey, today we are going to do a very simple project. We're actually filming on Easter, so happy Easter. Um, and it's really good to see you guys. All right, this um, idea I actually got from Miss Gunn and it's called Exploding Dots, okay? So what we're going to do is um, either work with crayons or markers, your choice, and if you had a chance to get one of these big pieces of white paper, you can certainly use that, or a smaller piece of white paper, and even if your paper has lines in it, that is okay too, all right? So go ahead and choose um, some colors that you're going to use in a pattern. I think that I will use crayons today, and I will go in rainbow order. Eden, can you tell me what colors are in rainbow order? Red. Okay, hold on, I've gotta find a red. Oh boy, there's a lot of uh, colors in my palette here. All right, I'm gonna use this red. Orange. Red, orange. Yellow. Yellow. Green. Green. And blue. Blue, anything else? Purple. <gasps> Purple or violet. Okay, so I guess that's the colors I'm gonna use. What are you, what are you going to use today, Eva? Are you going to use crayons or markers? I'm gonna use markers, and the colors that I'm looking forward to use is probably like teal, some teal. Teal and another teal. <laughs> that works. to do is all over your paper um, you're going to start with your first dot and I say dot but it's more like a dandelion when it kind of fluffs out right start with something like that almost like a starburst not the candy, but a star bursting. These just don't have to be perfectly spaced. They can be kind of here and there. These are eventually going to burst into each other. And please, if you're using crayons, don't be afraid to apply quite a bit of pressure because you want your colors nice and dark. All right, now when you're done with uh, that first color, go ahead and go right into your second one. I'm going to be using orange, and I am simply going to go around that red in the same fashion. The colors can kind of blend into each other. I don't want a whole lot of white to show. A little bit is okay. Remember I am applying quite a bit of pressure here, going around every bit of the first color I did. Let's see how Eden is doing on her project as well. Remember, if you're using markers and you've got a color that's drying out a little bit, 
that doesn't mean that your marker is necessarily done, right? You can still use that and get some nice color. Maybe it'll just create a little bit different color or texture than, you, than what you were anticipating originally. I see Eden has a marker that's a little bit dry, but it still looks really nice. Okay, now oh, I'm ready to go into my third color. And if you're getting close to going off the paper, that is okay. You're just gonna continue your pattern all the way here as if it would go further. Just stop so you don't color right on your table. After I get so far here, I'll take a little bit of a break and we'll come back and show you what we've done. All the way around. Like I said, this is a really simple project that you can uh, have fun with. Use whatever color combinations you'd like whatever medium you'd like, whether it be crayons or markers, maybe you've got some oil pastels at home. Those would actually be very bright and fun to use as well. part comes when these colors start sort of exploding together. Thank you for coloring along with us today. I hope that you guys had a really happy Easter. Maybe got an Easter basket. Some toys or candy today. Had a special time with your moms and dads, brothers and sisters. That might have been all that you were able to see today. A lot of us are experiencing a very different Easter than what we've had in years past. And that's okay. We hope that you guys are making memories together in your home. All right, I am starting my fourth color here. Going right into a bright green. And like I said, I can overlap a little bit on the color that I just did. If you need to turn your paper like I'm doing, that is just fine. I'm running into going off the page here a little bit, and that is okay. Each sort of explosion, so to speak, is about the same width, not perfectly. I'm going around and around, almost like a fuzzy dandy line, that's what I stated earlier. Keep those lines going straight out from the center, or almost straight out from the center. to the edge. Now you can see these two are getting really close to each other. And that's when it starts to look kind of cool is when you start filling up your paper. And you don't know when one dot begins and the other ends. So they kind of melt into each other, so to speak. I'm going to finish all my green here before I go to my next color. If you're getting down to a spot where you need to peel your crayons, that is okay. We can always get more crayons, right? 
Maybe not for a while, because we're not supposed to go to the stores that often. Hmm. I'm going to do a point here where I'm going off my paper again. You know, what could a person do with this paper? Hmm. When it is all done, you might be able to laminate it and use it as a really groovy placemat. Or maybe you want to fold it in half and write on the inside. It could be a super cool giant greeting card. Maybe you want to cut it to fit a frame that you have. Just put it behind some glass. This is a bright and colorful picture. Maybe your folks want to hang it on the fridge for a while. It's up to you. Maybe you will have one of those binders with the clear plastic um, sort of paper holder, I guess, you could put it in that. All right, well, I'm gonna continue here for a little bit and give Mr. Barkmeyer a little bit of a camera break and then we'll continue and see what it looks like when these dots start coming together, all right? All right, as you can see, I am starting to get a little bit further here. And now my dots are kind of starting to run into each other. So, this is one goes around this way. And then this one is going to start going around this way and they kind of meet here in the middle, right? So keep working with that. And eventually you're going to start repeating this red on the outside. So we've gone through all the colors that I've picked out so far in rainbow order. And don't be too concerned if you get some crayon shavings here. We can always clean those up later. There's a reason it's called artwork, right? It's a little bit of work. I have used every color now, so now I'm going to start repeating colors to fill in the gaps, okay? So some of your areas aren't going to require much, and you'll be done with those areas. So I started with red. I'm gonna go on the outside of the purple, again with red here, and this way with red. Think of each center kind of bursting out, and that's the way your crayon strokes should go, all right? So there's gonna be a little bit of red in here coming from this center, and this one's coming from this center, so we'll go this way, go out this way for a while, and this one's going to come out from this center here. I guess we can just fill that whole thing in with red, can't we? There might not be room for another color in this area here. All right, we've got a little space in here to go around this center. I'm going to come around this center here. I'm working rather quickly, but you can take your time around this, this purple area here, this one here. All right, and a little more red here. Working a little bit quickly. All right, go around this center. So 
a chance for you to do a little bit of directed scribbling. And if you find any areas that you missed or that maybe need a little more color, you can go back over and fill in uh, the spaces that maybe you need to apply more color. So um, I've done the red here and I, I see that I still have some spaces to fill in. So now I'll go with my orange. So outside of the red, go ahead and do your orange. Side of this circle here, this one's also going to have orange going this way. So now the orange is coming together, isn't it? So orange. And we'll go orange on this side. It's nice to have some music when you're making art in the background as well. And it looks like I forgot to do red on this one. So after the purple, there was supposed to be some red, which is coming from this one, of course. Kind of almost looks like fireworks, doesn't it? Or tie-dye. Or tie-dye, yeah. Okay. okay now I need... That needs to be orange. There's orange. Oh, thank you, Mr. Barkman. Whoops. If you break your crayons, it is okay. We can buy more crayons, can't we? Okay, now I'm going to need a little bit more yellow. So, some yellow going this direction. Some coming from this one. Those kind of meat. Okay, I have yellow coming from this center here. Got yellow. When you get to the edge, whoa, be careful not to rip your paper. It's very easy to kind of get in a hurry on the edges. We are not in a hurry today, so. This way with your yellow. All right, like I said, if there's some areas that need some more attention, go ahead and fill those in. It's okay to have a little white uh, popping through, but some areas um, might need some more color as you go through and look at your work. All right, top up any excess, and there you go. So just kind of a fun, quick project. Let's see how Eden's doing with hers. She's got three big exploding dots. We're gonna go pattern after pattern. Oh, that's pretty, Eden. It's really awesome. And put it on a white background like your fridge. It looks kind of cool. Like I said, maybe you want to fold it in half and make a card for someone. Be a very cheerful and colorful greeting. All right. Guys, have a great day, and um, we will see you next time. Bye.